Hi everybody, so welcome to the first hive inspection after the uh, changeover. So I'm going to pop that front away, Oops. and I'm going to pop the lid off and we'll have a little look. So just over a week ago we swapped the hive over for this yeah. new one for so an extra super on the top because there was lots of brood in the there was in the existing one. And as the weather has been so rubbish, oops, I did, oh gosh, I did, uh, I did put some sugar water in there however I don't think they've been taking it I think we've managed I think the bees have managed without Sorry. this is the new super that we put on the top but it doesn't look like anything has kind of happened up here as yet which is a little bit disappointing but potentially they've just been focusing on the new frames that we put in in the other sections in the brood bit so yeah so not, just nothing at all on there yes yeah, so straight off so i'm going to take the queen excluder off and just check that she's not on that side now we did manage to mark her last time so hopefully we will be able to spot her quite easily so everything looks pretty healthy in here so far. I'm just going to give them a little, what if we get them out of the way, just send them down a little bit. Have a look at this new frame that we've put in and see what is going on with this. See if we've started anything on this. No, no, it does not appear that they've started to do anything on this frame. This was a new frame we put in because there was a couple of rotten ones. So we were hoping this is foundation. So this was put in when the frame the frame was made. Put this foundation in so to give them like a well a foundation a base that's ready to start making fill it out with comb to then lay more eggs in. So there's nothing on there. There's lots of bees on it, which is a good yeah. thing, I think, isn't it? So this one has just got um, some honey in it, a bit of capped honey. Uh, that you can kind of see in this area here. So what are you doing as you look through Lady M? What's the... So I'm looking for any swarm cells. I'm looking to make sure that, that there's honey production in there and that uh, there's some um, eggs and things like that. Now there's a close-up. We can't zoom the camera in to bring that to you. That's cool. Look at them all beaded on the bottom there. So this is pollen. You can kind of see in there. It's like yellow looking. And then uh, let's have a look so we can see a larvae. Some little. And yeah, that's all pollen up there. Mm, it's not massively obvious. It looks like a lot of capped brood here. Kind of what's covered over and there'll be little baby bees growing underneath there with a bit of luck. That's my view. Sorry if you're a little bit skew with but it's, it's quite hard to hold the camera, not squash a bee and not be in Lady M's way so that looks pretty cool. Doesn't it does. It? I don't know whether you can get a sense of how many bees are around. I do not like being no. uh, disturbed. So these ones down here on the bottom, can you see they kind of look a bit like uh, like ball, more ball shaped than the others that are capped. So they are drawn. This thing yes, that's there. The more draw, so they'll they'll hatch male bees out of there. I can see in here some larvae. So they're larvae. The bees are trying to cover them over at the moment. So far, so good. No queen cells which are a potential indication that they might be going to swarm you can't stop bees swarming if they're going to swarm they're going to swarm yeah. it's their natural instinct so you can do like an artificial oh there's a oh, yeah. that's a swarm cell have a swarm too soon if ever i saw oh there's two on there there's a I few can see two. i think i don't think so. that's definitely is that you can just tell uh, yeah so there's nothing on. in them oh so it's certainly nothing in this one here that's one there yeah so you can see it's a cup isn't it so yeah. it's right on the bottom of the frame it's empty so they're definitely trying there's to grow one. oh there's about four there. or five 
So, right, oh. they're, so they're definitely trying to grow yeah. another uh -huh. queen. So I'm going to get my little tool and I'm just going to knock them off. It is swarm off. season, so it's the, it is. we're filming this on the 30th of April. So apparently we are in swarm season, so it's going to happen. I'm going to squash it a little bit. It's round about one. now. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing in them, which is a good sign they haven't actually got round to it yet. I'm laying anything in it. And it seems that if you do squash them so swarm cells, so they can't grow another queen if you squash them. So to um, oh, guys. But it doesn't mean to say it's not a foolproof plan if you just squash them and that's no. it, they can do it anyway. So this might only be delaying the inevitable. Yeah. We talk about, as the experts will talk about doing a, an artificial swarm, so you would you know, do your own split, put the queen in of another hive. Then let this one, there's still one left, yeah. That's okay. one here, yeah. So put the, put our queen into another hive, let that grow, then let oh, one of them swarm guys. cells produce a queen, and she starts this colony. Mm. Well, yeah, it does, does make me a little bit nervous. There's a lot of bees as well. I wonder why they're not going into the super. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. But uh, there's a lot of bees in here. Oh, that what? looks like another queen. Another queen, where? Oh, no. So. Oh, surely not. Oh, another queen cell or an actual queen? Another queen. What, you think we've, we've had a queen? Oh, no, that's your queen. She's got green on her head. Oh, she got green on her head. Superb. Amazing. I'll just I, hold it. You will have to. I can't see through the camera. Okay. Here she is. So she's got her wings at long, at shorter than her body. Ooh, she's, she's got, got kind of a body, pointy tail. Yeah. Right. And you can tell the difference from her and a drone because drones are quite big which is the male ones but drones have got like a square bottom on them whereas she's got a pointy bottom yeah she's long and she she is right you go back in there that is a lot of bees right. the proper proper swarm cells are usually down the bottom of the yeah it looked like a cup didn't it rather yeah. than the, they're a bit longer aren't they it seems there yeah so the ones i've seen but it's definitely they definitely some, had a cup on so there's some drone cells there What's the drone cell? So that's the male. No, what, what is it? Show me a drone cell. Oh. What's the difference? So, you see here, it's kind of raised up oh, yeah. rather than flat like yeah, them ones yeah. next to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. See that, yeah. So it's like a capped. Yeah. Like a proud capped. Yes. When, when the honey comb, when the comb itself's got a grub in it and they cap it over, it's just a little bit proud. That's a drone cell, but the longer the swarm cells, the queen cells. And longer. Yeah, so that's all honey in there that you can see. It's like the runny stuff, it's not being capped over yet. Just straighten up a bit. Um, so, yeah, that's. It feels like there's less honey around, so I wonder whether, with the weather being so rubbish, that they've haven't been eating it. Mm. Which is fine because now the weather's kind of picking up a little bit, so hopefully they'll get a chance to remake. Maybe that's why they're not in the super. Yeah, probably. The second, you know, the empty super, the yeah. top one. Yeah, you're doing them over here. Oh, look at him doing a waggle dance. <laughs> we do that, the fan, the fan, the honey, do only get the moisture out. Yeah, he's probably sending out some kind of uh, signal to say there's somebody in our hive. What right. on earth? Yeah, because this has got no. Get them two in people in space man suit yeah. out here. Yeah, so all right, we're going to put that back. The first brew box. Now this will be interesting because we put a new that very end one's a new frame as well, isn't it? Oh look at them all there. Oh yeah, they've scarfed there. Great. Do they make that are they making that noise? Yeah. When you put the smoke in? Yes. So they go down because I think there's a fire, don't they? Yeah. And they've gone down to protect themselves. Down. Now this is called burr comb, I think. I'm going to knock this off because it shouldn't really be here. It's just going to sticky things up a bit for us. So we put two new frames in here. We took, was it one? Two? Two new frames. There was two rotten ones out the old hive. So we put two new ones at the end. It'll be interesting to see if they made any comb for that. So I'll start with this at the back because I don't think this has got anything on it at all. So it's been in just over a week, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, because I've seen a few people say, see I thought these were waxed frames already, but people have said, oh make sure you wax your frame, your foundation. Right. And I, so I wonder whether they're just not 
properly waxed. Right. Uh, so they're not and the bees don't like draw it. Out. Yeah. So some people don't put any foundation at all, do they? They just let the bees. Yeah. So yeah, I have a feeling they've been having to pull on the reserves. Could have been over so these cold, like yeah, right? over these last few days as, it, as it's been horrible. So, so that, that's, that's capped, capped honey. Yeah. And then you can see the runny honey where in kind of the dark a bit. There was a bee there with some pollen on his wing. On yeah, his and his little sacks, which is nice. There's nothing on the bottom of that, which is good. So we'll get that one back in. We've got, so there's pollen here. It's kind of where the tip of my glove is. Uh, I think that is capped brood around there. A lot of activity, people wandering around, buzzy bees, busy, busy bees, but no. Uh, no sign of queen cells, which is good. Oh, no. This is heavy. Oh, the bees are oh long. my word. That is yeah. outstanding, so, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, I think I've just dripped some honey out there. Right, so I think the starker stuff is capped. Brood. That is absolutely full to the brim of bees. No obvious sign of any swarm cells or uh, yeah, spoke too soon. There they are. Oh yeah, it's three. So they are very prominent cups there. So we'll get rid of them. They do say though, from what I read, the cups. They yeah. It's almost to say they don't you count see on the if edge they're on there. the top. Yeah. Edge of where? So where my thumb is here. All right. You see the grubs in there? Little white grubs. Oh, all right, yep. Yep, and then that's all capped brood, that stuff that's capped over. So let me just... So yeah, them cups that you're going to destroy, it's... Yeah. Depending on what we've read, it does say that they... Some have said that they aren't actually swarm cells yeah. or queen cells or emergency cells or what have you. Basically, they're not there to grow another queen because they should be on the bottom. Yeah. But. They look like it to me from what pictures I've seen. Yeah, as I say, I don't want to take any chances. And sometimes they're just practicing, apparently, sometimes. I mean, obviously, we're, we're only learning as we go. We're in a lot of okay. Facebook groups. Busy here again. Watching a lot of YouTube brood. videos. Yeah. Um, but this does appear to me like to be very, very full. Yeah. Doesn't it? And if, I say, I'm no expert, but if. Uh, you can see there's two more cups. Oh, yeah. so you can see why they might be thinking of swarming because they're so full. It's quite a nice variety there. So you can kind of see the pollen that's yellow here. This is the capped brood that's kind of darker yellow. And then you can see some of the white grubs inside there as well. So the queen's still active. She looked uh, yeah. feisty enough. Yeah, Isn't she, she moving looked, around? Yeah, she she must still be laying. Busy, busy of all the brood, all the grubs, all the baby bees in there. And a lot of pollen in there. Can't see any queen cells on there. There's a good example of a drone cell there. It's kind of at the end of my thumb. And there's plenty of um, pollen in there and capped brood and I can see plenty of grubs. Okay, lots of pollen, lots of capped brood. Busy hive. Thankfully, no obvious cups or queen cells, which is good. Busy, busy on that. Uh -huh. You say the bees are supposed to be getting less the closer you get to the edge. Not well. The the capped brood, but no, it doesn't appear to be, does it? No, oh, it's as full as ever. Yeah. These are the angry bees at this end, clearly. Lots of lots of pollen in there, which is good. And then the runny stuff there is honey. What about the, what the stuff that's got over. a cap door? Yeah, that and that's honey, should be that down this end. And look at the different colour in that pollen there. Oh, yellow, that, uh, orange, that is. That bit. You see, right in the middle of your screen there now. Cool. Look at that. Yeah, 
there's nothing on there. Yeah, there's nothing drawn out, is there? No. Not? I have to do a bit of research here, what we can do to get them to oh, draw out that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, that's definitely a job for another day, though. <laughs> Come out, I don't want to squish you. Oh, sorry, casualty. <laughs> Go and fly off because I'm going to squish you otherwise. So quickly calm down, don't they? Thankfully. <laughs> Roof is on. Right. Do you want your brick? Put your brick on. Yeah, I'll put my brick on. It's in here and there. Oh, 10 days or so, ladies. Oh, well, what, what will be the next episode? Uh, I think we probably need to do some research on why they're not building on them new frames that we've put on. Um, and then it might be that we have to whip them frames out and wax them and see. But I guess we'll just see next time because now that the weather's warmed up and they're a bit more active and able to go out, they might decide that they can actually make their way onto them other frames. Yeah, I hope they do. There's a lot, yeah. a lot of bees in the in them bottom there two boxes, isn't there? Yeah. And uh, the amount, if they are swarm cells, them cups, which it looks like they are, I can't think what else could they be? Yeah. Um, it does seem to suggest that they are pushed for space and they might yeah. be about to go off. So we might have to research uh, artificial swarm, perhaps, yeah. Lady M, because they potentially, yeah, or do something because it does. Don't know, it worries me a little bit how many there is there. Mm -hmm. Give me the camera and I'll show you them all waggling at the front door. Apologies for the crazy angle of the camera, but I'm sure you can probably see some of them there. I'm going to go all waggle around. So I think that's the bees. Then it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you next time.